Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, the guy who definitely needs a haircut. But forget about that. Welcome to the season finale, part two. Today, boys, we will be playing our last games of the season. We have Lazio coming up. Last episode, we have won the Premier League. It was an amazing race at the end, but we have done it. We have beaten Manchester United, and after that, we have just kept on going kept on going strong with a few comebacks as well and then we have grabbed the trophy at our home ground that is what we wanted to do now today we'll be trying to win the Europa League first leg against Lazio was a 3-1 victory and uh, let's take a look at our potential opponents it is Olympique Lyon or Roma both of those teams really have a couple of really strong players especially moving forward I think they will have some proper proper uh, attackers coming at our defense and obviously I think Roma has the better defense uh, with the likes of Manolas, Florenzi and so on so that will be probably the bigger matchup I think but we have currently their rivals up against us Lazio that will be interesting and if you guys could please hit that like button for the season ending Go ahead and do it right now. That would be much appreciated, guys. Uh, we will do a squad report in this episode as well. And maybe talk about the future of this series as well. So let's see what we can do today in our season finale part two the last episode our team was on form now in this match against Lazio we are using our first team once again the thing is though their stamina is quite low because they just played in the Premier League raising the trophy and the celebration it, it was really tough for them boys they had to use up all their stamina while they were uh, celebrating the Premier League title so they are coming into this game a bit tired but hopefully it will still be good enough to keep the lead that we have earned in the first match a 3-1 lead and maybe score one away goal right here and make sure that Lazio knows all right there is no way to getting past these guys they will go through to the finals that is what we are aiming for why is Lautaro playing what the hell no oh god I'm playing against them with my reserves team I thought I changed it okay well the reserves team deserves a little bit more playing time I guess uh, Ivobi was the hero of the last episode and now he's getting another chance yet again. I didn't think that I would come up against them with my reserves team here. This is a bit worrying, especially about my defense, I'm worried. Ivobi could be through here and he is and he actually is through. Ivobi passes it inside, Lautaro Martinez. Maybe I might have found the way of uh, playing with Ivobi because as you guys know I've really struggled at the start but now it seems like I'm doing a lot better. Maybe it is also because he has grown in his rating. Nelson! I just hit the woodwork twice with one shot. Okay. <laughs> Reese Nelson, big chance to put us up against Lazio. It would have been the away goal that we needed. Ooh, that is going to be a goal. As soon as that cross was coming in, I looked at Immobile and I knew no one is actually covering him. They're just running in there without really looking at Immobile. No one is marking him. Big mistake from our defense. I believe that's Chambers in the middle or Holding. I think that's Holding. And also uh, Maitland Niles. Just not close enough, man. There are three of our defenders and no one is close to the one and only striker in the box. That's just not good enough. That's the reason why I was worried going into this game with the reserves team and why I would have rather played with my first team on low stamina. Lautaro plays the ball. Will share. Now we have El Nini in support. I see you there, Ivobi. But we will be passing it yes it will be i don't know what is going on i genuinely do not know why this guy all of a sudden has turned into a complete beast <laughs> he is just running into the right positions the whole freaking time scoring the goals getting assists getting good dribblings in and now he might have gotten us again another game against lazio where he's doing well he might have gotten us the Europa League final with that strike right there. Reese cuts back inside. Over to Lautaro. Lautaro. Zelalem. Lautaro. No. How? How do you miss that? Right before half time. That would have been the crucial moment. The fans are really upset about that one. And I am as well. Look at me. Caicedo. Oh no. Soler. That could be the second goal. Immobile hits the crossbar. 
Okay, I mean, if they do win 3-1, it goes into extra time. And with this team, I don't know if I have enough stamina and, like, quality in their skills to just make it through the extra time. So we cannot allow anything like that to happen. Okay, Djordjevic is coming in for Caicedo. That is another good cross. Why is no one covering? Why is no one marking these guys? What the hell, man? It's 4-3 on aggregate. One more goal and we have to go into extra time. This is actually ridiculous, man. What are my defenders doing? Where are my centre-backs? Why is he on his own there? It's Jack Wilshere. Jack Wilshere not running with his man. <sighs> Staying too far behind. This is, this is not good. I cannot concede another one right here. That will definitely risk our Europa League run. But I've already messed it up in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. I cannot do the same right here with the Europa League. Oh, that was so nice from Ivobi though. Letting the ball through his legs and then a left footed shot obviously wasn't good enough. Lataro, I see they're making your run. That is a great pass. Oh, what a save. Ah, oh, Immobile. Jack Wilshere struggling big time. El Nittany. It's actually 3 1. No, no, no. This cannot happen. This cannot happen. This team is just not good enough. I knew it, man. How can I make that mistake of playing with my reserves team even though I wanted to play with the first squad? I'll keep Aubameyang for later. But Mikitarian is coming into the game right now. I need help. I am getting destroyed by Lazio right now. And I do not like it one bit. Guys, we are moving into the 77th minute. And now the time has come to bring on Aubameyang. I will be putting him down the right hand side. If Obigas goes down to the left. <sighs> later on, I probably will have to sub in Bellerin as an offensive player instead of Iwobi. I... I need goals. I definitely need some. We are going into the 87th minute as uh, as Lazio is coming through here. We do have the ball with Mikitarian though. Let's make something happen. Mikitarian over to Aubameyang. Aubameyang cuts his side. He does have the pace to get away from these tired players right now. That is a good thing. Aubameyang still going through. Still going strong. Passes it down. Here's now Lautaro. Mikitarian. Mikitarian. 90th minute. Please, that would have been perfect. Cross coming in towards Alba. I believe in you, Alba. Or holding. We are going into extra time as predicted. This is this has turned into something that I would have never expected. And Olympic Lyon is through into the next round. They would be our opponents if we actually make it through right here. Now I don't have any high-rated players. Bellini is the only one I can sub in right now. <sighs> I would rather. Yeah, I just I just have to put him at centre midfield. I don't have any other chance to kind of strengthen up our offense here. Better than now on the ball. Terrible dribbling, but it somehow works out for us. Alba, 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 man! No, yes, there we go. I already celebrated. Yes, come on, Alba, man! We have done it, boys. Oh my God, that was intense. That was way too intense. I did not expect this game to turn out this way. 3-2. Aubameyang hits the post. Gets his own rebound. Oh my god. It worked out. <laughs> it did actually work out. And there it is. We are through into the finals of the Europa League. We have pulled it off. It was a lot tougher than I expected it to be. But um, it was a good showing of character from our team. They were down 3-1 and we did go through now with the 3-2 Aubameyang coming in and helping his youngsters right here. As you can see, statistically, we definitely deserved to go through 5-4 on aggregate against Lazio. Great game. All right, since we have already won the Premier League title, we will be simming with our reserves team right here uh, because I want my first team to be ready 
for the Europa League final against, yes, Olympique Lyon. So that'll be an interesting one right here. Let's skip this part. We have lost 2-0. No injuries, no substitutes being made. That is actually perfect. I don't want anyone to be tired from my first team. They will be fully loaded on stamina going into Europa League final against Olympique Lyonnais. And, uh, ooh, Saar and Maitland-Niles. They're not looking good. Hopefully there's enough time until we play. And here it is now, the Europa League final. The trophy that now has gotten a lot more importance to it because before if you won it you didn't really get anything just a trophy a little bit of cash and that's about it but now the Europa League has turned into a very very important competition for big teams like Arsenal for instance who haven't qualified for the Champions League through their placing in the league but now have the chance to do it through placing as the first place team in the Europa League and getting a guaranteed spot in the Champions League. That is what we are all about right now. Obviously, I'm talking about Arsenal in real life, their placement. Uh, they won't be making it into top four this season, I think. And uh, now we have to prove that we can grab all the trophies. Premier League trophy, we have gotten it already. Europa League trophy against Olympique Lyon right here with Emre Can in their starting lineup. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, Mariano Optap, who seems to be like a really, really good striker right now. Nabi Fekir in the camp position. Toussaint, Depay, Cornet. A lot of really good dribblers in their team. It will be interesting if we will struggle with our really good defense at the moment. But obviously, Kolajinac is missing. So the left-hand side might be weak. I am nervous. This is the next trophy. We have messed up the FA Cup. That was a big upset for ourselves. But now, if we could go ahead and get this victory right here with our first team to get the second trophy of the season, you can definitely call this a big success season. A successful season, I should say say that's not really english what i just said there but uh, i would be incredibly happy if we can get it done but olympic lyon i'm not belittling them at all wow this is the first time i use that word belittling nice oh that's a good one mariano good pass okay we do get that one away Ozil, play the ball Ozil. just play the ball mate what are you doing what am i actually doing here we do get it though with Ozil. Ozil now pushing forward. Aubameyang is through in the final. Come on, Alba. Smack it onto the crossbar. Of course. This time I actually didn't do a driven shot. That was a regular shot because I felt like it would definitely go in from that position. I just wanted to make sure to blast it past the keeper. We had our first big opportunity to score. Hopefully that won't cost us down the line. Alba through again. This could be his second chance. Alba, this time it is the driven shot. Come on. It is 1-0. Olympique Lyon's defense is not taking care of this guy. Every time I move forward with Ozil, I play the ball in, into Lacazette. And as soon as I do that, the left back, Marcal, is just way too far up front. They have to put instructions on him. They have to tell him stay back while attacking. That guy is just rushing forward the whole time and leaves huge gaps for one of the fastest players in the world. Aubameyang, you cannot do that. It's 1-0 on a big Lyon. I'm not missing two times with Aubameyang. Just like Harry Kane said, you don't give me two chances. Oh, Maitland-Niles messing up there. Cornet is through. Yes, what a tackle from Ramsey. That is what a captain needs to do, man. I love it. Come on. I can't do it like that. Pick here. We can't allow him to get onto the ball. He is deadly in front of goal this season. There goes the pass. I see there. Aubameyang is through once again. Macau, what are you doing? How are you not defending this guy properly? Aubameyang is through. Cross is in. Mesut. Big It counts as an own goal. Okay, that is actually very sad. If you score an own goal in the Europa League final, how bad do you have to feel? Like, that is something I'm always wondering about. How are players feeling when they score an own goal? Because if it's like a big occasion, like a big derby or a European Cup final or even a World Cup game, just imagine you, you score an own goal for, and your whole nation is so upset with you i i genuinely don't want to know how bad that must feel for some of these players man it must be very depressing if you look back at this whole season and how things have gone for us i mean 
I had such big problems. I was really struggling. I had like a patch of like 10 games or two, like two months or actually a whole month where we didn't win a single game, only losses and draws. And then coming back from that, turning things around completely, changing formation multiple times, and then things working out really well. Ooh, okay, I got really lucky there. The shot error is on like five. How can you miss that from that close? Um, the way we have set ourselves up this season, this has been a beautiful story. And that is the one thing that I'm really proud about in this career mode. Um, we had a really beautiful story. And normally, if you have like big teams like these, like uh, Arsenal or Liverpool, things get quite stale quite quickly because you just win games all the time and people are like, okay, why should I even watch? This guy just destroys everyone. Um, it does get quite still really quickly. This career mode, we have been blessed with a lot of uh, adversity and uh, it has worked out in our favor, man. The sliders, the way that we changed them, it has made things a lot tougher than it used to be. And I'm just really happy with the way this season has turned out to be. I mean, if I don't mess it up right here in the second half against Olympique Lyon, we will have won two titles, two major trophies this season, even though at some point it looked like we are a relegation side in the Premier League. Oh, block. Okay, I need to stop talking. Stop concentrating again. Nikitaria now on the ball. We are now moving forward with Mesut. Mesut plays the ball with Nikitaria again. At the far post, I see you. Set again. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. I legitimately had a rush of adrenaline in me as soon as Milinkovic just did that. A scorpion kick in the European, like the Europa League final. Are you actually joking? Look at this. Milinkovic Savic does the scorpion kick, hits the crossbar. How can I be so unlucky? That would have been the goal of the season. Man, imagine that, it would be madness. Oh man, I had such an adrenaline rush inside of me there. I don't even want to explain, man, it felt amazing. Oh. Cross coming in towards Arba. Milinkovic, Milinkovic, it hits someone on the post. Ramsey's through, Ramsey's through. I see you there. Sergei, his goal does count this time. It is going in, it definitely hit the back of the net this time. 21 Savage, another guy that has been really like... He has been one of the best transfers for sure this season and I really enjoy them in a CDM position. I wish I could use him in a more attacking position, but I'm not like, I don't have the players in order to do that right now. But Sergei has been a rock solid player for us and he scores in the Europa League final, even though it is not a scorpion kick. It still was beautiful, my man. 90th minute, and that should be it. Europa League title has been clinched against Olympique Lyon. I genuinely do believe that AS Roma would have put up a bigger fight right here. But man, what a season. How it has turned out to be. I am just so proud of this season. This might be one of the most entertaining seasons I have done so far. It would have been the dream to score the Scorpion kick in the finale. But boys, we will be raising the Europa League trophy. And there is the trophy, boys. The trophy that we were going after. Who is going to pick it up? Of course, it is Aaron Ramsey once again. As he picks up the trophy, a whole nation dies. Because when he scores, someone dies. When he picks up the trophy, a freaking nation of people just go ahead and die. I guess that's just how it works, right? Aaron Ramsey is picking it up and the team and the fans are celebrating it that is going to be the last match of this season the transfer window is coming up we have made some really good signings that will be joining us as soon as the transfer window starts for the next season but now boys i think it's time to talk about the future of this series let's go into the squad report take a look into how our players have played and basically 
make a decision as Iwobi goes up to an 80 rating we move on into the squad report and checking out the statistics of a certain players has Aubameyang retained his position as the top scorer in our team yes he has 29 goals 23 assists in only 38 games that is really impressive to me both the strike force have been incredible this season I don't think I remember a season where I had two offensive players scoring and assisting as much as these two have I genuinely don't think I had that in a very long time maybe in the Crystal Palace days with uh Yusuf Paulsen and uh what was his name oh my god I can't believe I forgot his name not Dybala but the one that was from our um youth academy team Mech something oh my god I am I'm actually disgraced that I don't know his name right now. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> so uh, we have Lautaro Martinez on 19 goals and 11 assists right here. He has been a very, very good player for our team. Plus five this season in his ratings. That is nice to see. Ozil has been incredible especially the second half of the season i absolutely loved him man i didn't think that i would like ozil at all but he has been really solid as a center attacking midfielder mikitarian played most games out of the top five right here of the ones who have scored goals 13 goals 10 assists to be honest we can't really judge him because he has most of the time been played out of position uh, he has been played as a center midfielder so you can't really blame him for not scoring too many goals but I kind of was expecting a little bit more out of him. He's 29, same with Uzi. So both of them are going to be hitting the age of 30 next season, which will be interesting to see if their stats are going down or not. Rafa Guerrero has been a beast for me. Ivobi, I don't know, man. He all of a sudden turned up and uh, things changed. My opinion changed about Ivobi. He has shown that he can step up and score goals and uh, he could be even better in the future. Plus four this season. I don't think I train him too much this season, if I'm honest, but even if I did, still good for him. 80 rated right now. If we do still want to get rid of him, we could be getting a good swap deal uh, because he is 80 rated and still very young and has some potential in him as well. Jack Wilshere has been solid for the reserves team. Milinkovic, I mean, again, I wish I could have played him in the position where I actually use Mikitarian sometimes in a center midfield position in the 4 1 2 1 2, because I genuinely believe that this guy has a lot more goals in him per season. But uh, I'm in a CDM position, I think four goals, four assists is quite all right. He has an 8.2 average rating throughout the season. Who has the base, best rating? Aubameyang 8.8, .8, Lacazette 8.5, and then uh, Milinkovic Savic comes in into the third position with 8.2. So after all, you can definitely say he has been one of our top five best players of the season, and he has proven that every single game. Ramsey has been quality 8.1, really good rating right there as well. Well, anyone else that really performed well 7.6 for Kalajanats that's about it though yeah I genuinely believe that is about it let's take a look into who has grown the most this season yeah let's take a look at the top of the list right here we have plus seven on Maitland Niles which was necessary because we we really needed him a lot of times uh, especially when Bellerin was injured we needed him uh, when Kalajanic was in injured right at the end of the season we definitely needed him once again uh, Reese Nelson uh, was okay uh, plus six this season uh, obviously improved quite a lot which is nice to see but he hasn't really been as good as I hoped he could be, but obviously he's only 70 rated, so I shouldn't be expecting too much from this youngster. He's still only 18 years old, 70 rated. That is a really good rating for someone at his age. Lautaro, plus five this season, definitely deserves all the praise he has gotten. Um, he's still improving physically, which is nice to see because sometimes if you train your players too much, their physicals are not really growing anymore, but this guy is growing. Bellerin, plus five. What the hell? He got plus five this season. Okay, that that actually surprises me. I didn't think that he improved that much, but apparently he got plus five. I must have missed any like every single time he grew. I must have just missed it. I'm really impressed by that. 85 is a really really solid rating. Probably one of the best right backs in the world right now at this stage. Top five for sure. And Ketia plus four. Um, and then Iwobi plus four as well. So after all, a lot of our players, including Malang Sar right here, have grown along quite nicely. And even the players that have been loaned out, like Reynad Leid, have also grown, which is good to see. Because if you do loan out your youngsters, you want them to succeed. Now, 
Here's the deal with what I was talking about, the decision of this career mode. Now, we have won the Premier League this season. We have won the Europa League this season. Is it exciting enough for you? Be completely honest, guys. I know you might be into the first five episodes, but after that, you might get bored. And I don't want to risk stopping a career mode mid-season again. I genuinely don't want to do that because I hate doing that. I absolutely hate it. And um, we have done it with the Road to Glory uh, type of career mode this year. And I just wanted to know, do you guys believe that you could excite yourself to watch another Arsenal season if the only thing that could be better than our finish this season would be the Champions League title. If the Premier League title has already been won this season, I don't think you guys will have a lot of emphasis on that one anymore. I think the only title that we definitely want to get at that point is the biggest title of all, which is the Champions League title. I just want to know, like, I want to have a trust voting, you know. In the top right corner, let me know if you would 100% Please do not lie because this is really important to me. Be as honest as you can. Would you watch another season of the Arsenal career mode um, with like one title in mind, the Champions League title and the rest being in the background kind of. So just let me know, guys. I'm really interested in your decision. If you guys don't want me to continue, that is completely fine with me. I can hop on onto another career mode. We can go to Germany finally. I haven't done a career mode in Germany. I haven't done a career mode in Spain this year. I think that would be quite interesting as well. So just let me know your opinion in the comments down below in the top right corner, and we will make a collective decision and see what we do for the rest. We have won the Premier League and the Europa League title this year it was a lot of fun i enjoyed myself a lot we came back from being very bad for a couple of months and now we are on top of european football apart from champions league but yeah thank you so much for watching i had a lot of fun and i hope you did as well hit that like button before you leave for the season finale take care and peace